Alrighty, new submission. Let's watch this in full. These are definitely bigger changes, which I love. They're great. I think my comments would be also checking your mail. Um, generally, so I cut this off because you submitted it like this. Just be careful. Um, because if you're going to cut it off like that with that mask, the foot is really close to the edge there. So I would reframe this to be more like that. It's more comfortably framed. And then I'm not sure. Not that it breaks the shot, but I'm not sure you need this beginning into this. Because even this, I feel like we see. Imagine this is the angle, but then you just go out. If that makes sense. <clears throat> you just zoom out and then zoom in or translate forward instead of back and around because now we got legs overlapping got a tangent right there we don't really see the other um the upper arm and everything else versus when we're here before he gets into this imagine we would see the whole thing you know down there you would see the structure of this you can even have already a bit more of a curved like you see more of a of the uh the spine more here all of that just feels silhouette wise a bit better just to start. I don't know. That would be my, my thought there. And then... I think the camera goes down a bit too soon. Kind of... I don't know. There are a couple of things. Generally, I feel like the camera is a bit too close. But maybe it's because I find the animation awesome and I want to see more of it. Because what's happening now is that we go forward and now it's kind of... Again, a bit of a tangent there. Cut off at the ankles. It's like, okay, well, maybe here, because now we are in my crappily drawn thirds. You know what I mean? That's okay. But then we go here, and it feels like, well, we're only framing up because of the sword, but he is technically the center of interest in a way, unless this was like a big ball chain or something important here. So now suddenly the framing is off because he's more centered. And this kind of continues for quite some time. Like this, I would understand more just because we have this cool action. Although even during all of this, you can probably still go there and even like, get pretty close with that hand up there for the frame framing. Here again, I feel like we're just cutting off right where that knee bend is. Get a bit of a tangent. So even here, I would go up to be more in those thirds. And then that's okay. And even here, I will go back up here and then back here because again we're ending here with the tangent and these loops yeah okay so that just to me is just in terms of just the staging and the camera and then as you continue I would still have a little bit of keep alive something breathing or a little sidestep and you know whatever you can do I know it kind of wants to loop but it's just so static it just feels weird because it's we're behind him and then the camera rotates and then the whole thing feels like, okay, now that's that's where we want to look at the action. And then it goes back. Now, if you're going, well, I want to emulate a game. And that would be, because we're behind the character and behind the character. And this is kind of like a cutscene thing. Then, okay, then I'll, I'll buy that. And I looked at the Assassin's Creed thing and, and the other clip. I know it's, if that's what you want to go for. But then I would almost go, again, a bit more like this. And then almost make a bigger deal out of it that makes sense actions are cool i love this it can also be cool to have a well see if once you spline it out that i wouldn't stop too sharply maybe go a bit lower so you really feel that kind of heaviness and i love that swing at the end yeah i mean again for me it's it's more kind of the staging i love the actions i love that little extra flair which is great you can even do something when it goes now you twist. So it almost looks like he's going to twist the knife inside the guy before he does this. Like all those little flourishes and like doing extra mean things to the character. Now, what I would do though, was you sent me this too, is put this as soon as you can, the animation onto that character. I'm just concerned if I grab my tool here, you know, still got... There's a lot of stuff here. I know this is soft, but then you got the helmet, 
And then it's just how, how this plays in terms of the look. Because if you're having this now, then that's going to change the silhouette as well in terms of the legs. So you might have to push certain things and so on. So I would just check, go back and forth between, you know, your, your actual character and what you're doing this to see just how it feels, what we see, how it works silhouette wise. You might have to add some lighting. You're, you're saying you're going to put this into uh, Unreal here. Is that what you're saying here? Yes. Yeah, rendered in Unreal. So just kind of watch out in terms of your look and the lights and everything so that you don't have crazy intersections and stuff like that or like, you know, silhouette problems. And that is that. Yeah, other than that, I'm really not concerned about the animation. This is all super cool. There might be, you know, more stuff once we see this blind, but you do also have a lot of step keys here. So I'm not, I'm not super concerned how this is going to look like at the end. But it's so much better than your first version. I love this. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.